Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. Okay guys, so welcome back and in this tutorial we will start with the toggling between sign up sign in when you are not logged in and a few other functionalities. So let's get started. So what we need to do here is in the app JS component, this is a parent component, we can do one thing, we can have another state which will be just a toggle between sign up and sign in. And when you press on, when you are in the sign up, and if there is a, a span, that's, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you, if, if when I am in sign up, if I have this guy already have an account, and if I click on sign in, it's going to change the state to sign in. And when I am on sign in or login, if I press on sign up, it's going to take me back to sign up. So how can we do that? Let me show you that. This is one way of doing it. There are multiple ways of doing this thing. So sign up, sign in. So this is a toggle. So set sign up, sign in equals to use state. And I'll specifically tell it it's sign up. So initially we will need it okay let's do it sign in because that's that's the ideal way of doing it so when I'm not logged in at this stage what I'll do is sign up sign in is equal to sign in so show sign in right and or else show sign up okay so now this thing will work right now but there's no toggle between them right so how are you going to change this state so to change this state I'll need to create a callback function the so const change state and this callback function is just going to take a value and it can be either values could be sign in or sign up okay so if I go to uh, I simply need to do this set sign in sign up and I'll just put value right there I need to make sure that I just pass in sign up or sign in or in other any other scenario is gonna show up sign up so okay so this thing is good and now I'll need to pass it down to sign up sign in and sign up both so change state is going to be change state and the same thing goes to sign up and this is good and now we need to do some modifications and sign up so first of all I'll just this is the sign up API so sign up is here on submit we haven't done anything with that yet I'll remove the data because we know it changes so h4 sign up okay so we know what it's doing here I will have P already have an account okay so in that case I'll have a span here and I'll write a sign in and on click I'll do props dot change state because that's that's what we have passed in right and it's we need to specifically tell it it's sign in props is undefined because we need to tell that this is the props and this will be okay and let me copy and paste the same p tag and I'll put it in sign in here inside I'll need to put it inside of outer box so it's the same thing props but here I'll need to do sign up and one more thing h4 sign in okay great so this is working and let's see great so initially it is sign in if I press this is sign up so okay 
Okay, great. So this toggle is working. Let's see what it is. Okay, every time I refresh, I see this thing. Alright, you see this because this is because we have this else condition, not this one. We have this else condition in the app. So we can make it this way. We can do it in this way that I'll have stage equals to not logged in and sign in so this one and I'll have this sign in and the same thing goes for sign up so if not logged in and sign up I'm just gonna show sign up alright so this is quite simple and I don't think it would be an issue so every time you are here sign up sign in if I refresh I don't see any other screen in, apart from sign up and sign in so this is great I have this button as well so if you don't see a logo here there might be an issue that you won't see a logo so what you need to do is you need to go to the documentation and get this logo thing so this is the icon you need to import it and you will have to put it into your HTML. So it is somewhere here. This is where you need to put place it. So, okay, so now we are quite close to getting some things done. So now let me go back and sign in and I'll have the same button in the sign in as well. So button here sign in button which is great I need to import button as well as icon so icon this is working great and we need to have the change state here as well like this one on submit or on change text so let me do that <coughs> okay so set data we don't have it so cons data set data e equals to use state okay it will be an empty object and on changing of email I'll have to do the same thing as we did in the feed let me not in the feed in the sign up so let me take those things from there email and password all right so we have what we need here and let's see what other things are remaining so on submit is one thing which we will really need so let me put that thing here and on submit sign we need sign in so I'll import that thing as well and let me have on click here so on click on submit okay so this is good and in sign up I'll have on click on submit so this is great as well this is because of prettier auto format thing okay so this is working as we expected to work and let me see g at gmail.com okay let's see what happens we should go inside in a while okay great so we are logged in right now and now let's check about the sign up thing all right so okay so let's see the sign in thing guys so you saw something happened here that we saw the sign up and not the uh, not anything else so what we need to do here is we might do this that when I when I am logged in 
I'll just change this to where is it uh, okay here at this point sign up successful not not here in the app.js because when I log in it's, it's gonna change it to logged in as well as set sign up sign in to sign in rather than sign up so it's gonna stay consistent so let me show you why so I'm here and if I do something like this dot com okay submit I'm gonna log in and if I go back I should see the sign in thing so these are the two refreshes and we will be taking care of that as well okay so right now the thing is we what we need to do here is go into let me first of all change the name and sign in sign up and let's see the sign in API if this is true it's gonna return me the value okay or else it's going to return an error okay so error dot message makes more sense here so let's see what do we get at this stage so when I sign in Tavalchardosh at gmail dot com one two three four five six okay into the function and sign in email must be a valid string but sign in with email and password oh I see because I'm not uh, validating it in the right way so it's like this and sign in I'm gonna pass in the data so this should work so richardosh at gmail.com one two three four five six it should show that uh, it's not the right function uh, not the right password in value our user doesn't have a password user not found and not signed in okay so password this should work I tried a different password I like too many passwords so I'm gonna log in in just a while okay great so this worked and sign in at 11 something is undefined so what is that let's see sign in 11 snapshot dot value this is undefined and user ref dot child okay because this this guy doesn't really exist but if I go back and if I it's gonna reload so I need to stop something and because on press is I guess it's gonna consider on submit so let me go into the nav bar because this issue is annoying me so this is going to be in nav bar and on click event Let's see if this is actually an issue. Event dot prevent default. Okay, and I guess have I seen submit somewhere? Submit is just in eight files. So type submit. So when I sign up it has a type submit when I sign in it has a type submit but when I when I'm pressing the logout it's not supposed supposed to like reload every time so let's try g at gmail.com password okay it's good it's not supposed to reload okay see so it's not reloading which is great which is great which is what I was expecting so if it reloads for you all you need to do is 
because the thing is that when you click on the submit thing like type if the type is submit is gonna auto reload the page and we can stop that from here that event dot prevent default stop the reloading the page okay so this is great and this happens when we work with libraries so you don't really know what the issue was and you need to figure out the solution to it so this is great okay so now getting back to our task that once I am in the once I'm inside what I'm supposed to do so first of all let me have a new user John Doe john at gmail.com password will be password I submit and I'm going to get through so I have this information and I think I'm supposed to get okay not right now because I will get the other information outside so that place is john at gmail.com password so I should get the user information so see here I'm getting the user information so this will help me display this in the profile so let's go back into the profile and then components so I'll make profile.js I'll have another which another uh, file which will be add post.js and one more will be post list.js great okay so this is not supposed to be in reusable it's supposed to be in components so now the thing is that in the this is all the UI stuff and I don't want to waste your time in creating and showing you how I create the UI. So what I'll do is I'll create the profile component, I'll create the feed component, also the add post component and I'll see you in the next video. So stay tuned and take care. Bye.